I'm going to show you a few options for tracing an image in Inkscape. Um, so actually two options. The first one is going to be Inkscape's live trace option. Um, so I have an image that I want to trace. I've already copied it to the clipboard, so I'm going to go into Inkscape and hit uh, File, or Edit, Paste. And here's my apple that I would like to trace. So I can use the live trace option by selecting my image going to path trace bitmap and here using brightness cutoff I can change the threshold and sort of select the areas that I would like to create a vector of so I can hit OK. Um, so now what this does is this creates a vector on top of my image um, but I am going to have to go and in and edit this because if I select, use my node selector, I can see how many nodes this created. Um, so I want to go in and simplify that path first so I can simplify. Now, I didn't want this shadow included, so um, I would have to go in with my node selector and highlight these nodes that I wanted to get rid of and delete them and then edit the nodes that remaining here to sort of my apple shape. Um, so something along those lines. Um, I can delete the picture behind it. And so that, that's a good option. Um, if I just wanted the simple outline of this apple, I would um, go ahead and use the Bezier curve tool and draw it myself. Um, but the first thing that I would probably do is create a template layer with my image. So again, I'd go to edit paste and here's my apple. Now I want to open the layers palette so I go to layer layers and here's my layers palette over here. So this apple should be on this first layer, layer one. If I turn the eye off you can see that's where it lives. This is going to be my template layer. I can um, click on this and rename it and then I'm just going to lock it so it doesn't move while I'm trying to create this other shape. Um, and then I'm going to create a second layer called Drawing. Add. And now here's the layer that I'm going to be drawing on. So I'm just going to draw this really quickly. It's not going to be very precise um, just to show you how this works. Um, I'm going to my curve tool and kind of getting the basic shape here. And then I can go to my fills palette. Um, I can access that up here or um, object fill and stroke. Um, I'm going to change my path to nothing and change my fill to something red-ish. So let's do 5% cyan, 100% magenta, 40% um, yellow and zero percent. Oh, that's pink. So let's do something a little bit more red. And then I can just go in and draw the stem right on top of that shape. And again, this is sort of a quick get rid of my stroke and my fill. I think I'm just going to use this brown that's down here already. Um, there we have it. Now if we go back into our layers and we want to get rid of the template, we just unlock the layer, select that, and there you go.